does a western and a superhero film have in common? They both lasted a decade before slowly becoming redundant. Now this does not mean that the western or the superhero genre is dead, quite the reverse. Superheroes are still quite popular with the recent release of the Joker and the new Batman on the way. It's still good money to make these styles of film. However, the key word is style. The style of the superhero and the western genre have changed to the point we can't expect to see the original return to form. Allow me to explain. In 2008, we were introduced to the man in the suit of armor, a genius playboy philanthropist, the man we know as Tony Stark. The man was already an icon in the comic book pages, and when the world was introduced to him again, we fell in love with him again. To the point we followed his journey for 10 years. For me personally, Marvel should just rename the saga to the Iron Man Saga or the Iron Saga. I feel that name would be quite cool. Leave a comment below if you agree. So what is the issue? Even with the 10 years spent following our heroes and the recent purchase of 20th Century Fox from Disney, the Marvel movies are not getting as much attention as they did before. You could say the audience is bored or is in need of a hard reset. With Phase 4 on the way, I must say, it is quite lackluster since the only thing truly interesting to me being Blade which is due to be released in late 2022. So why is this happening? The best way to explain this feeling is after the impact of Endgame and Infinity War, it will be quite hard to top such a battle and climax. So to beat that, they would need to bring something bigger, better and stronger, which would be harder to do just due to the scale of the Marvel Universe. In fact, they would need to bring an event to truly bring fans together again such as Avengers vs X-Men, or the recent Secret Wars, or Annihilation Wars, but I doubt that would happen because God King Doom is so OP and broken. Ah, so why is the standard way not working anymore? You can say that people are fatigued by the same plot and plot over again and want something different. If you ate a taco every day for a week, you are going to get bored and crave something else. This is the same with blockbusters. There is also a reason why some Marvel films are considered better than others, such as Logan and for DC Joker and The Dark Knight. Reason being, to some moviegoers, they see the film as a film with certain genres while having superhero characters. A perfect example is Captain America Winter Soldier, which is a spy thriller, but with Captain America. Or Logan, a neon western, but with mutant who has knives in his hands. These films take multiple elements of other genres and combines them with our favourite characters, allowing us the audience to view something different yet loyal to the source material. So quick spoiler warning, Old Man Logan, written by Mark Miller, who's by the way one of my favourite comic book writers, has Logan as an old farmer looking after his family in a United States ruled by supervillains. In debt to the Hulk family who runs his section, with his children being the enforcers of his iron fist. Also, side note, Hulk's partner in the story is She-Hulk, and apparently due to her being She-Hulk, she could take him, so the Enforcers are basically his kids who are inbreds. So yeah, just go along with it. This is comic books after all. This is completely different to the film, even if we saw the Hulk and Doom and Emma Frost and Luke Cage's daughter and all this crazy stuff that happens, including a venomized T-Rex. I feel that would take away the charm of the film that Logan has. The adaptation shows Logan having better years and instead of a family he is a carer to Professor X. Also with his healing factor not being what it used to be, he can't be reckless adding this realism to the film. Almost as if this could actually happen. So looking at the western genre we see that the film Logan ticks every single box. It has a rundown city, it has a form of adventure, a one-on-one -on -one showdown. Of course, the only difference is, instead of guns, we have claws. Well, some guns and mind powers. So how can the film Logan be regarded to fans as one of the best superhero films made, yet films like Ant-Man or even Infinity War can be considered as good films, but not the best? I feel the superhero genre and the first Marvel film we have followed a pathway that frankly has become boring and only fans who've followed the source material for decades can enjoy. 
This is why more and more studios are trying to mesh genres together. Unfortunately, some fail, such as New Mutants, but some succeed. Why I'm telling you this? Well, the answer is, with 2021 around the corner and the new decade beginning to add another number, maybe we should prepare to see less and less superheroes dominating the big screens and to accept that the golden age of superhero films is coming to an end. Or perhaps it already has. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. For more content from No Input Productions, you know where to find us. Also, like, comment and subscribe so you never miss content from us. And stay safe. Beijos, ciao.